do you believe in blind faith being a positive example? No. Uh, the Bible doesn't teach blind faith. The world accuses Christians of having blind faith, and uh, for good reasons at times, because uh, some of the family within the body of Christ behave very badly. They behave in nonsensical ways, in unthinking and uncaring ways, and so there is this perception in the world that we deserve in part, because of our bad behavior, that there's this blind faith. God, God said, said I, I believe, believe it, it, and that's enough. enough. And I don't think that that's biblical. If you go back to uh, to the time of Moses, Moses declared to the people of Israel, passing the message on from God, that you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And Jesus followed that up and reaffirmed that uh, a couple thousand years later. And he said, you will love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. So soul and mind are almost indistinguishable ideas. But whether they're the same thing or different things, uh, they involve our cognitive faculties. And so God expects us to love him, to worship him with our mind. He gave us a mind. He invented the mind. He expects us to use it. Now, if you go to how this conveys to faith, the writer of Hebrews defines faith uh, as you know the conviction of things uh, not seen, uh, but the substance of that is also in, in, in evidence uh, of things that we do see. And in fact, it says, by faith, we understand that the world were made out of things that can't be seen. Now, two things about that statement in Hebrews 11.3. By faith, we understand. That means the mind's involved. Understanding's not easy work. The second thing about that is, by faith, we understand what? We understand that the world, the cosmos, all that exists in the universe is made out of stuff that cannot be seen. You know how long it took us to figure that out? That did not get figured out until early 1900s. So it took mankind thousands of years, uh, the progress of science inching along, Newton, Galileo, Einstein, all those guys and gals. And finally we figure out what matters made out of matters made out of stuff that's invisible. Absolutely invisible. In fact, in the last few decades, we've come to realize that not only is the stuff that we think is stuff, <laughs> is invisible, but information. Information is invisible. The easy way to understand this is, uh, you know, we all have computers and we store information on hard drives. But if I take a brand new hard drive before I put it in a computer and I weigh it, put it in the computer and fill it with songs and documents and pictures, and take that hard drive out of the computer and weigh it, it'll weigh the same. Information doesn't weigh anything. It's invisible. It's not material. It's completely unlike the rest of the physical world. And so that's another thing. Information, structure, logic, idea, it takes that on top of the substrate of the material world for it to have structure and order. This is inescapable. How did the writer of Hebrews 2,000 years ago know that stuff was made out of stuff you can't see? He didn't have no microscopes. He didn't have no particle colliders. He didn't have any background in physics or calculus. How did he know? How did he figure that out? How did Isaiah write that the earth is a sphere floating in empty space? At the time he wrote that, the leading view was that the earth is on the back of a turtle swimming in a pool of milk. How did the Bible writers know these things about the universe they lived in that we didn't figure out until the last hundred years? Maybe the Holy Spirit gave him a little bit of a nudge on figuring out how this universe really works. And so is faith blind? No way. No way is faith blind. The Bible doesn't teach blind faith. We're accused of blind faith, and like I said at the beginning, we sort of deserve it as a group because our behavior has been bad on all sorts of issues uh, related to our faith, what we believe, uh, and how we live that out in our lives. And so the, the thing we've got to be very careful about is, what do we even think faith is? Is faith simply just believing a fact? It's not what the Bible teaches. Faith is believing a fact and 
that fact transforms you uh, and identifies you with uh, the person Jesus Christ. Thank you.